What is up, YouTube? What is up? 808 Tim here, and we're back with Hunter Call of the Wild. We are back in the Yukon after a good little break there. Um, I do want to clarify, I was under the impression that there was a glitch in the game, and, excuse me, other people had the same issue where the trees were all messed up and couldn't interact with them well it's I thought it was these trees it's not uh, I just went up to these trees and realized what had happened <laughs> so there was no frickin issue with the trees it's not an issue I just could not believe that I made that little mistake there, but, uh... I used to resent him for making me go out there and work while my friends played back home. Eventually, those trips also included hunting lessons, and that made them my favorite parts of the summer. That should do. I'll get in touch with the foresters. They can investigate the area and cut down what they need to. I'll make sure that they also pick up the firewood at Loggers Point. Don't want to take any chances. Bet. Thanks for taking care of this. It's becoming a full-on phobia of mine that these beetles are going to destroy the forest here. We sprayed pesticides across the western edge of the forest as a preventative measure earlier this month. But any new chemicals in the air, soil, or water make me uneasy. That makes sense. Welcome back to the Yukon, folks. I'm going to have to get... In the same bag that you found the paint, there should be some plastic sample containers. Could you bring them out to the musk... Oh, sorry. I mean wetlands? Musk egg is the word we use up here in Alaska. So I'm going to want to find... I do want to figure out... I forget, like, the controls about this. That's the camera. Oops. I don't even want the camera anymore. There we go. Okay. So we need to go... Yeah, welcome back, guys. Let's, let's go to the muskeg. I cannot believe that. But that's just how things go. Sometimes you think there's issues, and there's really not. That's about 500 yards. I actually don't have a lot of, uh... So, I don't know. Let's see what we've got. You're going to be grabbing some samples out there. So one of our research teams can test the pesticides to make sure they aren't having any effect on the ecology. This was actually my wife Sandy's idea. She runs the Yukon Valley Nature Center. So she's working closely with a visiting research team. Perfect. Welcome to Yukon Valley's wetlands. The last time I brought both of my daughters here to spot birds, they told me that all the bird spotting in the world wasn't worth the smell. Turned out that a bear had left a rotting moose carcass in the summer sun. Mm. I decided to spot birds somewhere else, just in case the bear came back for seconds. Watch mm. your footing at the water's edge. It can be easy to slip and fall in. Heard. Just fill one of the containers you have with water. Will do. The pesticides we're using on the forest to prevent beetle infestation are effective. But I still have my doubts about the effects on other wildlife. The flats are one of our most biodiverse regions. So I can't risk introducing anything dangerous into the water or the food chain. Oh, hold up. Can you take some samples from the water beside the forest first? We sprayed a section of the forest western edge last month. So I want to know if anything has changed since then. Okay, I do want to see something. 
I want to see if we can see any. Oh, if we can see any animals. I mean, there's a good amount of space. Ooh. It's a moose. Just in case we see something. Like across the way that we can hit. Right now, it's not really looking like that. That's okay. Let's make our way down then. that's a bear now it's a freaking moose and it's close hutch you need to relax boy the moose has got to be pretty close to us like a hundred ish oh there it is holy shit folks We don't have. Oh, that was a shit shot, folks. I really don't think we hit it good at all. Plus, I didn't have any ammo for all my other guns. There we Nicely go. Nicely done. First time I was there, I misjudged how stable the edge of a pond was and ended up with one leg knee deep in the water. I was a rookie at the time, and luckily nobody saw it happen. Can you grab a second sample from a body of water slightly further away from the forest? Sure. Let's go around then. And actually, let's real quick, we're going to fast travel, get some ammo. Let's get 30 out six polymer tips and some 338s. Thirty out six polymer tips. Let's buy a pack. And it what well, what else was it? Three three eights. Polymer tips. Okay. And then what was the gun you unlock when you get to here? It's the 300 Magnum. And it's 75,000 and we've got 60, which that was that it's been our goal to get this gun for a long time. But I'm glad that we uh, got our weapons re-upped with ammo. Good, got some ammo, I think, in both. Let's check. We 
up. That. got five bullets in that for now honestly that'll be fine okay so we have white tail we need to switch our collars switch our collars okay We can do something with moose. I feel like that's... Okay. So I think that's one of them. Oh man, I, I think I... And then other than that, where's the other colors I can buy? Oh, I want to see how much that... uh. Hold up. Where's the electric one? The one that came out. Is it? It's a DLC. I think I have to buy it. Okay. Well, we're going to wait a sec. I just want to see if... There's the moose collar. That's the problem. We're not a high enough level for it yet. Okay. So yeah, we just weren't a uh, high enough level yet. Oops. Okay, let's close our cabin. Let's get... I think you called the ATV, my bad. Oops, I keep jumping. Call the ATV over here. Let's get our ride. So feels good to be back. This is one of my favorite games that I've Played here on the channel. Um, very cool game, but it's unfortunate. I, I definitely thought there was a glitch, and there must be, but because I've seen on Reddit, I've seen that there was a glitch. But unfortunately, I just I um, misunderstood the glitch, to be honest. And I hope that if anyone that has had the issues with this sees this video. You guys see that? That, that helps them. They see the fact that Oh my god, it's actually those trees standing up. Because I, I saw someone on Reddit explain the exact same problem that I had. So, I hope that helps. 
Look at this view, man. The Yukon is absolutely gorgeous. Hold up. Let's, let's claim this. Caribou. Okay, we do have a caribou collar. So, I'd say it'd be a wise choice to... Okay. Yeah, caribou. So we'll we'll equip that at some point for sure. Uh, stop. Okay. should do for water samples. Next up, I need you to find me some animal droppings in this region. The musk keg is a hotbed of animal activity, so you should find droppings quite easily. If the pesticides have drifted out to the flats, I want to know if it's making it into the food chain. It's been a month since we sprayed, so there's been plenty of time for the pesticides to get out here. Gone to find some soon. There. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Could you find a sample from a different species as well? It's better to grab a larger sample size while you're already there in the field. Mm -hmm. Got you. Is there anything else? Okay. Okay, let's just explore till we find something in this field.
sergeant, it's, there's got to be some more poop around here somewhere. What the hell? Like it cannot be that hard to find. Yeah, so let's uh, let's help him out. And uh, this is like the the second map where it's like Did I just accept a mission on accident? Yeah, I did. Let's grab the hatchet. This is the first snowy map where uh, we've had Medved, but this is the first map where it just snows randomly, so it's pretty dope, honestly. It's a good fall time, Christmas time map. Other than Medved, because we're scheduled to uh, hunt some reindeer in December, so. We'll do that. For now, we're chilling here. We gotta get that 300 back up. It's been a long time goal here. Ever since I've had some some of the followers, some of the fans give me tips and they said that that was an amazing gun. They're part of the reason why I got all the maps on here. Uh, this game is incredible. And it never ceases to make me smile. the hatchet save those railroad tracks man slow down I felt like we were approaching a lake Do it. 
Well, this thing's hill hill climb is on freaking real. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw how steep that was. These things first. Let's claim this bad boy. I'm gonna grab grab my water. Okay. Got our water. Let's Oops. Let's grab the hatchet. Hi, it's come here. Hey. Come here, boy. You're tweaking. You freaking tweaking. I was trying to pet you, but you're like running away. Hatchet. There's the shovel. Hatchet somewhere around here. Is it in here? Nope. It's in the shed, it, I think, is what they said, man. It looks like a birdhouse. Oh. It's over here. Must be on the side of the. Oh wait, nope. Okay, it's there. It is. You got the hatchet. Great. I hope our visitors haven't been using it to open their beans. You're gonna yeah. need a nice sharp edge. It's small, but it should do the job. There's a lake just to the north of the flats. I'll be flying over it on my way home. If you drop that stuff off there, I can jump out, grab it, and get it to one of our ecological research teams today. Instead of you having to walk around with a bag full of droppings and swamp water. Good bet. We'll do that. So yeah, at this angle, it climbed it perfectly. That's, these are some trusty, trusty ATVs. That's pretty crazy. Massive lake right here. This will be good to get like, uh, for like watering zone. Ride the bank of this to see if we can get any of those while we're headed over. Now. Looks like no. Oh, those are. Safe to go right here. There we go.
samples ready for pickup? Fantastic. I'll be over that way as soon as I can. I really appreciate the assistance. Absolutely. Hunting for droppings and wading into swamp water might not be glamorous or exciting, but it's part of a massive effort to maintain the balance of life out here. It makes a big difference. You ready to head out to the tracks? Just knowing that tree is hanging over the train track is making me anxious. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's worth it to see the rail bridge. Let me know once you've found the tree. What With is any that? Luck, it's a level it eight. Long to clear it out of the way. Got a drinking zone at least. Oh, it won't. I don't know. I feel like it's a long, long, long shot. Oh, what the hell? My tr it was, oh, these didn't get spooked. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let that come right to me. Shit. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Let's chill. You want to take that shot? Okay, hold up. Just relax. I want to get my first moose. Okay. Here we go. Gotta take it. <sighs> I'm hella nervous, that's why I'm not Okay. Here we go. I was just genuinely nervous, so I didn't take it. Is there anything over here? No. It 
That was a beast, but I'll live. Okay, let's go to the railroad tracks. I did the one the one shot that was an accident. These triggers are like really sensitive. So you barely even barely even do that. Oh it, it fires, so all good. Reports of huge trees with deep roots that are now at precarious angles and might need to be cut down. We're lucky to have such isolated incidents. Other reserves have reported landslides. I've only ever seen one landslide in person, and that was from the air. Even from up there, it was a shocking display of natural force. It was all I could do to land the plane before the storm overtook me. It's hard to tell what caused this tree to tip over. I guess the big question is how to do this properly. But I trust you to get the job done. I hope you can make do with a hatchet. Yeah, I should be good. Let's do it. Great work out there. The train is behemoth. I honestly don't think a single tree would do more than dent it in a collision. But I'd rather not take the chance and risk a serious accident. Speaking of the train, it's due to pass by at any moment. I'd stay clear of the tracks if I were you. Keeping that railroad open is a big responsibility for us. Not only is it essential for a lot of trade out here, but the bridge brings tourists in from all over the place. I'd like a good picture of the bridge. One that we can put on our website. See if you can snap it while the train is passing over it. That'll look great. I used to come out to this corner of the reserve with my family. We'd spend long weekends camping, and I'd teach my youngest daughter, Kara, how to shoot. My older daughter, Deanna, was still an angry teenager who needed to convince me to take part in any activity. She'd always be laughing and having fun by the end of the trip, though. That looks like a good spot to take the photo. Those trips are some of my favorite memories. It brought us all closer as a family. Being alone, together. <laughs> Here's me talking about my family vacations when I can't even remember the last time I had dinner with my wife. Her birthday was what? A month ago? I think I'm probably overdue to take her out somewhere nice. So what, are we just waiting for this train?
That's the shot we needed. It's a shame we couldn't catch it with the train on top, oh, but it's still okay. good. I'll send this picture over to Sammy. Oh. Her team takes care of the Yukon Valley website. That four thousand. We needed that. Next stop, head over to an outpost that we're replacing. <coughs> Not too far from where you are just now. The cabin was lost in the Tecon forest fire two years ago. And we're in the process of replacing it with a temporary trailer, equipped with some more modern facilities. Due to the level of damage that was sustained by this area of the reserve, it has attracted several researchers like to perform long-term studies in the region. Econ Forest will host our first research outpost trial. Yeah. That's all. Cool. Oh. And in case you're unaware, Econ is the native word for wolf. The fire destroyed part of the forest, but the wolves are still out there. I'd make sure you keep your rifle fully loaded at all times while you're in wolf country. I look forward to your call when you find the outpost. Yes, sir. So, <coughs> so we need the caribou collar, and we need the wolf. Anything with a wolf. And I don't know if I own that, but anything with a wolf. That is. Bear with me. Oh, it's not. Really thought it was, though. <sighs> okay. We gotta go around, then. Oh man, the sun's coming out. Damn, the snow's gonna melt now? Oh my gosh. Oi, oi, oi. Dude, that's crazy. Love this area with all the open space you can see through the trees for miles. This would be a really, really good dope spot to hunker down on a higher elevation point and just hunt. That's for sure. It's because of all the fires. But it has a different kind of beauty now. It's just a barren wasteland.
Maybe lucky isn't the right word. We lost too much. This is the Basri Memorial Outpost. Or at least it will be, once you get it up and running. Ranger Crawford has left the supplies that we need for the finishing touches. He was going to set it up himself, but his wife went into labor just as he got here, so he had to rush back to town. Damn. Congrats. The workstations look like they're ready to go. If this trial goes well, we might see more researchers setting up camp across the reserve. For now, though, let's get things powered up. The supplies will include fuel for the generator. Okay. Well, then let's get the fuel. Just stick a little fuel in the generator and fire it up. And we're in business. Good. I'll let our researchers know they're welcome to visit when they're ready. Of course, you can sleep here and restock your supplies. Just Bad. like any other outpost. Another 4,000. That's helpful. We're already at 70,000, guys. The outpost is just the first part of our restoration efforts. The supplies should contain a couple of things that you're going to need for your next job. Planting new saplings. We're already at 70,000, guys. Take the bag of spruce saplings and the shovel. And let me mark a spot for you on your map. Okay. Okay, so hold it's up. It's a what? tough road ahead for this part of the reserve. The fire burnt away a huge chunk of the forest. But with any luck, a program of replanting will gradually bring life back. I hope to see it happen in my lifetime. Caribou might be up here. I feel like I missed it. There we go. So we need the antler rattler. Fantastic. So yeah, we're at seventy thousand. But if if we do, I think if we do one more mission or something, we'll be able to. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this this first episode back into the Yukon. I'm very excited. Um. But yeah, the next episode we'll be doing some more missions. We'll be chilling, trying to find some animals along the way. Grinding to get that uh, 300 Magnum. Getting our rifle level up and stuff like that. Our rifle score. So we've got some missions to do and that'll be fun. But until the next one, appreciate y'all for all the support on the channel. 808 Tim, out.